Okay, this tutorial is about how to use the green screen effect, use the chroma key and other filters so that we can replace what is green in our shot with a picture. So I've got an empty project here. First thing I want to do is go get that green screen footage. So press down in my browser, be sure you're in Final Cut, I'm in the browser, File, Import, Files, <clears throat> and then you'll go to your hard drive, Users, Shared, I'll make this a little bigger so you can see that path. <clears throat> then in the Shared folder is a clip called Green Screen Samples. So that was Hard Drive, Users, Shared, Green Screen Sample. So I'm going to select that and choose that. So here's my green screen footage. If I double click, I can see it in the, whoops, excuse that, you can see it in the viewer. Now remember, if you want your clip to fit in here and not be so small or too big, go up into here and go fit all and it'll fit nice and neatly in there. So this is some green screen footage I took of one of my video one classes uh, a couple years ago. Okay, so I know now I've got my footage in here. Now I want the picture. I've got to import it. The picture I want to replace what is green. So you can go and import any picture. I'm going to go file, import files. Um, I'm going to go to my documents and in my documents I have a picture called forest. I want to use a picture of a forest. So choose that. Double click on that and check it. There's my picture of a forest. Now this is a large picture so it's not fitting in here very well either. So I'm going to go up to here and go fit all so I can see my entire picture. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. Green screen footage and a picture. Now your green screen footage is going to look different than what I'm using in this tutorial, but same concept applies. Okay, first thing I want to do is take this picture, whatever picture you've decided to use, and put that down in my sequence. You can get it into your sequence several different ways. You can drag it, you could insert it. Okay, I know I needs to be a little bit longer, so I'm just going to make it about 30 seconds. Okay, so there in my sequence is the picture that I want to use. Okay, now I'm going to go to my green screen sample footage. Again, I'm going to go to Fit All so I can see it better. I want to find some footage that I like. I'm going to use Forest here. Okay, so I've got Forest and I'm going to put them in a Forest. <laughs> okay, so I found Forest in here. I'm going to go I for in. I'm just going to play it for, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. And he does something kind of silly here. Okay, good enough. Now I'm going to make an O for out. So I've got an in and an out. Again, I can press this button if I want to look at that footage and, and be sure I like it. Okay, yeah, okay, that's good. So now I'm going to take this footage of the real forest. I'm going to drag it down, put it in video track two. It doesn't look like there's a video track two, but as soon as I put this down here, notice my arrow is pointing down in this empty track and let go. Now I've got a video track two. Okay, now I can take my picture, I can make it the same length as my video. Okay, so you've got green screen footage on video track 2 and a picture on video track 1. Okay, doesn't look like anything's happened yet, we have to apply three filters. So double click on your green screen footage. Again, I'm going to go to fit all so I can see it. It has to be active in your viewer before the filters will take effect, so be sure you've double clicked and it is active. Double click, it's active, the viewer is a lighter gray. Okay, here are the three filters you're going to use to make green screen. You're going to go effects, video filters, they're all under key. The first one under key we're going to use is color smoothing 411. Select it, doesn't really look like anything happens, so you have to be patient. Effects, video filters, key, chroma keyer. And the third one, Effects, Video Filters, Key, Spill Suppressor Green. Okay, now we can kind of see something's happening, but it doesn't look quite like we want. So up here in the viewer, there's a tab that says Chroma Keyer. Go to that tab, and you should see this. If not, when you go to Filters under Chroma Keyer, you can go to Visual and get the same thing. 
Okay, so now I want to be sure my playhead's in there so I can see what's going on in my canvas. I need to adjust everything here so that the green disappears and the picture appears in its place. So here, in this first um, adjustment here, I want the green of the green wall to be in between these two brackets. So I can just kind of use this handle and I know that that green wall is a little bit darker. So I'm moving it to the right and notice we're starting to see the green wall disappear and the picture take its place. Okay, that's pretty close right there. I can also adjust my saturation here. I can grab these handles and open this up to open up my saturation. Okay, and I can adjust my luminance. Ooh, wrong way. Want to go more to the right. Okay, I can open it up by doing that or I can adjust it. Okay, your edge thin, um, that's kind of the edging around the object. You have to be careful. You don't want to turn this on too much or um, forest will start to kind of disappear there. But you might need a little bit of edge thin put on. Okay, now it's not going to look per look, it's not going to look perfect until we render it all, but we can get a pretty good idea. Okay, that's not uh, it's looking pretty good. Now we we still have to take care of a few things. Okay. For example, I want um, to get rid of the wall over here. I didn't mean to film the wall. So what you can do is use your cropping tool to crop out some of the background we don't want. So the cropping tool will be on your tool palette. Right there is your cropping tool. I'm going to zoom in just to show it a little better, cropping tool. Now up here in my canvas, I can put the cropping tool over the footage and I can crop out some of the things I don't want. Let me zoom back out. Okay. So cropping tool on the handles. Wait till you get it. And then I can crop out that wall. Okay, because I didn't mean to film the wall. So there we go. Now it looks like he's standing in the middle of a forest. You might also get your selection tool and now I can take forest the person and I can actually move him around a little bit. Maybe I want to put him more in the middle of that path. And I still have some of the wall here that I didn't mean to film. So I'm going to go back to the cropping tool, take that handle, I'm going to crop some of that out. Okay. We still have forest. Okay, I want to play it and see how that looks. Okay, it's not going to be perfect till we render it. It's going to glitch a little bit as it plays because we've added a lot of effects. Okay, not too bad. I still have a little bit of shadow. I might want to make some more adjustments to get it perfect. Okay, but if you want to see it more clearly, you can go sequence, render all, both. Okay, that's going to take a minute. Okay, it's going to take two minutes, so I'm going to cancel that. But that will make it a little bit clearer for you to see. Okay. Now, um, one other thing that you might want to adjust, if you select the picture, you might need to make the picture a little bigger. Selection tool on the handles. Now, I, I, you might need to adjust that. I want it to fill the whole frame, so I'm making it bigger. Okay. Then if you want to select forest again, select that from your sequence, and then you can also move forest. Okay. So that's how you get the green screen filters to work. Again, then when you're done, you'll go to sequence, render all both, and it'll play back a lot more, uh, a lot clearer for you.